good morning from our winter wonderland here. Alva and I are just about to go for a little walk, but the, she thinks the wood there is very, very interesting. And the lake started to freeze yesterday. Uh, it's only a very thin layer of ice just yet, but very soon we will be able to walk over the lake again. I'm very looking forward to that time of winter because right now the snow in the forest is a little bit too deep. Yeah, and then we are always kind of trapped here and we can just walk on the main road with the dogs. And right now we can already walk on the shore of the lake. It's already frozen or the ice is deep enough so that you can walk there. And yeah, it's also a very beautiful um, way to walk. Come, Alfjen. It must smell very, very interesting there. Come, to bitte. Na, da bist du. uncomfortable day today <laughs> it's so incredibly cold not like from the temperature but just this wind makes it very very nasty in a way and very freezing still i'm just about to start a new building project today because as you might know we have the christmas market next week and for that we have rented like yeah kind of a little hut where we can uh, stand <laughs> where we have our stand and of course we um, yeah need something where we can present our products we just don't want to have it all like on a big table but um, yeah present it so that you can actually also see the different pieces and so on so my idea was to now build like mm -hmm, kind of a shelf or like this um, yeah kind of a stair shelf <laughs> in a way where you can then place all the candle glasses and porcelain cups so that you can yeah like I said actually see each individual piece I also have to build in my little office here because uh, of course Alva is sleeping <laughs> in the main house and she is still very very afraid of loud noises and so on and yeah I think it's a little bit too early to scare her that way again uh, though of course in the long run she will have to get used to building noises and stuff like that but yeah I think it's a bit early so I will have to build up a little uh, workshop here in my office and uh, maybe also on the porch and yeah I guess we will see how long I will survive in this weather <laughs>
even without participating on a market, Christmas is always quite a busy time for us as it is also the main season in our online store. We absolutely love to run our store to fill it up with new pieces every other month and send them out all over the world to you. But as we're still doing everything by ourselves, it is also a lot of work. Mostly, of course, for Joachim to create all these different art pieces and this time twice as much for the shop and for the market. So I don't really know how he did it, but he painted insanely much this winter. It is his biggest passion and he's very ambitious, but I think in the end even he was quite exhausted. Mm -hmm. And it actually not only has been our first market, but also in general the first time we ever went out with our products in the real world, so to speak. And as so often when you're doing something for the first time, we had absolutely no idea how it's going to be. So we were a bit nervous, but also excited. Just being in Röhros during Christmas time is quite an experience for itself. And we thought that even if just for that, it would definitely have been worth it. Röhros is one of the coldest places in Norway and I don't know if you have ever experienced minus 30 degrees Celsius, but I would say that it is really something different. It is a kind of cold that is dangerous, that makes it hard to think while your whole body just goes into a survival mode and standing outside on a Christmas market the whole day is pretty much the last thing you want to do. But there we were and with a lot of cursing, some stress and desperation, we managed to build up our stand and also survive the first day. I don't know how we did it, but we did it and I guess at least we can say now that we stood a whole day on a Christmas market in minus 30 degrees Celsius and we survived it. <laughs> it's too cold to even take my camera out. <laughs> so today it's all about surviving. Yes. Tomorrow it's going to be a lot warmer. Yeah. But I'm, can, I can show you the stand one more. So here's everything. Dein Arter sieht auch so krass aus. Just. Luckily, the next days it got a little bit warmer and my original plan was to make a very long and detailed vlog about the whole time, but on Saturday it suddenly got so busy and there was so much going on that I kind of forgot it. Actually, oh, actually a lot of people from YouTube here as well. Yes. It's really nice. So for those of you who have been here, thank you. Now we are getting a little concert. Yeah. But I managed to capture some impressions of the market and whole atmosphere during the days. 
I think there isn't a better place to be during Christmas time than Röhros. The whole city is decorated, the market is full of handmade and local products, everybody seems to be in a good mood and it just has everything you need to get into a really cozy Christmas mood. So if you're not already, here is some of the Röhros Christmas spirit for you. I am very, very exhausted. I feel like I could lay in bed just the whole day and now it's almost afternoon and um, the only thing that I've been doing today is to walk the dogs this morning and now I just really want to start to uh, yeah, unpack the van and get rid of all the chaos here in the house. It's very, very dirty and messy here at the moment and I feel I cannot really relax until that is done. Uh, yeah. So one last effort and then I hope that the Christmas holidays can begin for us as well and I just yeah want to make it a bit more cozy here again and then I can also yeah tell you a little bit more about 
the Christmas market and how it all went for us and so on. So yeah, let's just start cleaning and get get life back in control. <laughs> So the house is a little bit more inhabitable now again and while the fire is warming everything up I thought I could just yeah make a little conclusion or just tell you a little bit about how the market actually went for us despite I'm just incredibly <laughs> exhausted and tired and yeah I think I haven't been that social the whole last year like i've been in these four days um, my social batteries are definitely a little bit empty um, despite of that it has been of course very very wonderful to be in Röhrers. Uh, i mean you have seen the images it just has been such a lovely atmosphere and yeah i think we fell in love with Röhrers. One more time it's definitely one of our favorite places and if we wouldn't want to live in nature this is definitely the city where we would live i think and yeah the market also has been very nice it's uh, yeah quite a small market actually so they're mostly local people who come there and sell their products and still on saturday there came people from all over norway for this market it's also known for that that um, on the weekend it's always very crowded and very full and it definitely has been quite an experience to stand there with like you know, your own products where you have put so much love in and to receive all these different reactions from the people mostly we got very nice reactions Joachim got a lot of compliments and very many people loved the products which of course has been very nice and I also think that we also sold quite good for a market so I'm very very pleased with that but at the same time I'm also not quite sure if a market really is the right place for us because I just know myself when I'm on a market I really yeah i just want to stroll around a little bit have a look at all these different things maybe buy something to eat or yeah, take something small with me but it's not really the place where i really have the time or where i want to look at art <laughs> it actually has been our plan to go to the market with more like smaller products that you can just take with you maybe also for a cheaper price that um, are maybe more simple and you are <laughs> he, like he tried but he literally cannot paint simple he ended up putting so much details and make all these pieces so intricate again that it really didn't work <laughs> so i think that is just the way he works he puts so much love and so much thought into every single piece and that is also why every single piece has a name and why they're of course also a bit higher priced and the market also really has shown us one more time uh, why we're doing that because we also really don't want to sell like mass-produced 
things or cheap things or uh, yeah things of no real value if you know what I mean and it has been so wonderful to see on the market like how people buy our products like we can remember every single person from the market who has bought something from us because every person has bought something with thought and because a particular piece has spoken to them and it almost felt a little bit like that piece wanted to belong to that person it sounds a little bit weird now but yeah maybe you know what i mean and it's just yeah it, it creates such a connection and it's really what we want um and it's yeah really not that easy but i think it's something everybody who has to offer something whether it's a product or a service has to go through at some point to really think about yeah who are the people that i want to reach and who are the people that uh, want to have what I have to offer because I really believe that if you have something of value for other people to offer there are people who want exactly that and it's just all about to find these kinds of people and to show yourself in the world in a way that these people also can find you and that you attract them and I just feel yeah that we are so incredibly blessed that we have found our tribes people so to speak and a majority of that is of course also this youtube community here and it also has been very very special to me to meet some of you who know the videos on the market and to see what kind of people are behind the comments and behind the views and it's so wonderful because I yeah also see that in the comments here that all of you are so different in a way like there's no particular age or gender or country and yeah I know that all of you are living very different lives and still I feel that there is something that connects us all. I think the people who watch these kinds of videos um, are mostly people with a very good heart, people who definitely love nature and people who can appreciate the beauty of this life. So these are the three things that I came up with that I think connects us all and I think that is just so so wonderful and yeah it's just exactly the people that I want to be surrounded by and I feel very very blessed that you yeah that you are here in this virtual space uh, together with us and of course our dream is still to create this space also in real life one day so yeah the dream of having an own store in Röros is definitely still there and yeah to just create this place where uh, people can come to and uh, where we can meet and also yeah meet each other in real life so that is definitely still there and I think even though we can also imagine to be part of the market next year again just for this whole experience it has been very wonderful so I think we will do it a little bit different though than this year and um, yeah take everything with us that we have learned from this experience and uh, yeah we will see yeah but now it's actually already one week before Christmas and I really want to decorate the house here a little bit and we also want to get in a Christmas tree maybe tomorrow and go to Sweden one more time to buy some food because it's so much cheaper there so that's uh, the plan for this next week and other than that after I have edited this video I am very very looking forward to go into a Christmas holiday <laughs> and to just sleep in and lay around and eat unhealthy stuff and just yeah really uh, yeah take it slowly a little bit i'm very very looking forward for that it will be i guess a very quiet christmas year 
this year again my mother will come and we'll be here with the dogs and some family of mine from Germany will come over New Year's and yeah I wish you a Merry Christmas I wish you a wonderful start into the new year and um, yeah hope you enjoyed this Christmassy video here from our little place in the mountains of Norway. And the fire has gone out. <laughs> I also just realized that I think you haven't seen Ivy a single time in this video. So I just wanted to let you know that he's very fine. It's just that when it's so cold outside, he <laughs> prefers to have it very nice and cozy in here and uh, maybe we can just get him here really quick. Come on, Here he comes. Come here, come here. Yes, you have to say hello to the people as well. Just that everybody knows that you are doing well and that you're still the most privileged dog on this planet. <laughs>